Fernando. Police here in Accra region have increased surveillance uh, in crime hotspots in the capital following a recent wave of violent crimes, including armed robberies and other attacks. Only last week, as you may know, two people were shot in broad daylight in separate robbery attacks, one at Pip Farm and one around Osu, leaving one of them dead. DSP Efia Tenge speaks for the Greater uh, Accra Region Police. This year, we have not arrested less than five persons, irrespective of the, or in spite of the difficulty that usually we are confronted with. And so, just uh, last month ago, that was on 10th May, one of them um, got a 17-year jail term, you know, for having also attacked a lady who had just alighted from a passenger vehicle and uh, was just fidgeting with the phone. Mm. And so that is um, what we, we have observed. We have also observed that the lightning situation on that stretch is very poor. And uh, from what we know as a security uh, service, criminals would always want to take advantage of dark places to advance their criminal activities. And so that was also one problem we, we also identified on that particular stretch. Then again, we saw that, um, you know, the Achimota Golf Club and the Achimota SHS, we were having reports of this nature there. And so the district command also appealed to them to make sure that they find a way of uh, fencing their portion. And uh, would you believe that since they did that, we've never encountered any of such reports. The forest there is creating a major challenge for us. Though we have now increased the number of snap checkpoints that we have on that street, usually we had about three, mm. but now we have made it five, together with the periodic patrols by our motorbike patrols to augment the kind of police presence on that stretch has really yielded a very uh, good uh, result for us. Mm -hmm. And that is how come people who were attacked, I think last week Sunday, um, the same motorbike patrols arrested some three persons who were on a motorbike and apparently they were being evasive, that those evasive tactics that we usually see. Mm -hmm. And so they were arrested. And also on Friday, hot afternoon, we also had somebody who had smashed another person's vehicle. The same model, the modus is the same. And so that person was also arrested with a timely intervention of the police on that stretch. Mm. When you go to the, the, the Ligon, uh, their medical center, you mm -hmm. know, that area too, you can, also, you can also recount similar, you know, problems within that area. Mm. So, that place is actually becoming a problem for us. But yes, the problem is there, what do we do? We began by increasing our presence on that stretch. That is our presence that has to do with the mobile, both armed um, men. That is how come even on Saturday night, one, uh, the suspect we now know as a one Kofi uh, Mensa, 30 years, was also shot by the team that was there. Always, these are the evasive tactics, evasive tactics that they use. That was on Saturday night, Kofi Mensah. Yes, shot, right? yes, yes, Kofi Mensah. That was on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And what, what, what um, was he doing when he got shot? Um, actually, when the men were on a snap checkpoint, they had this report from a motorist mm -hmm. that um, he has been he has been attacked, and so the police followed up to that direction, and mm -hmm. that is why we continue to see that when you encounter any of these attacks on the stretch don't keep it to yourself try and let the police the nearest patrol let them know mm. so based on this they followed up and um when when they were approaching the exact location where he claimed he was attacked these um two they saw a two gentlemen who run as i have indicated into the the bush so they lay down bush for some time it was around 9 30 pm thereabout and they, they resurfaced, they came back again, this time around through another direction. Mm. And also, they also monitored how they attempted, they were also trying to, they pounced on a driver. Mm. So immediately the police also followed up. And when they were being chased, one person, I am told, 
climb a, a, a wall mm. because of the direction they came from. So when this one was also climbing, you know, he was, I think um, he was hit uh, by the, the bullet. And so he fell and he was arrested. He was sent to the hospital, treated and discharged, and now with the police, mm. and he's been taken through police procedures. Okay. So these, these are the problems that we usually encounter on that stretch. Mm. One, if you encounter any of these attacks on the stretch, don't think that the report is not necessary. We need it. We need it because your narration as to how the incident occurred will really help us to be able to also devise appropriate and targeted strategies in our response to deal with the particular situation. Mm. Apart from that too, your report is still not enough, though it will help us in devising our strategies all right. But when it gets to prosecution, we will need you there too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people say that oh, we are not willing, once I have reported, that is okay. But yes, it will be okay for the perpetrator to be arrested. But the criminal justice system does not end there. It needs to go a process in getting conviction for whoever has committed the crime. Right. Otherwise, if it, it, it becomes um, the situation where we are not getting the cooperation from the victim, mm. the case will now be thrown out of court. And where does the suspect go to? It comes back into the community and within the same forest to continue their, their nefarious activities. Thank you.